Hi, I'm Cecilia Shutters with the U.S. Green Building Council here at Green Build New Orleans. We just kicked off the Affordable Housing Summit with Dr. Antwi Akom. And after his presentation, I had a chance to catch up with him and talk a little bit about his work with iSeed and Streetwise. Here's more on that now. First of all, thank you very much for being here and sharing your expertise. Thank you so much for having me. Great. I'm grateful. Um, I'd like to go ahead and start by asking you um, to speak a little bit about your work um, and how you define a problem that is um, uh, that communities across our country are facing. Um, as you describe it, um, eco-apartheid and um, cumulative causation, um, these, are, these are terms that you use. Can you define those and, and speak to those a little bit? Eco-apartheid is really about the ways in which structures and institutions cumulatively cause or produce unequal environmental health, benefits and burdens based on race, class, gender, language, immigration status, and their interconnections and interrelations. I really see two main problems that we're facing as a country. One is around structural racialization and how we have some communities are historically being marginalized while other communities are historically benefiting from access to institutional resources and privileges. Now, what that means is that many of our communities are really benefiting and moving forward in terms of access to green infrastructure and next generation green infrastructure, while many of our other communities are suffering. And there's been a real breakdown in terms of civic infrastructure. And so my work is really about trying to connect civic infrastructure and a broken civic infrastructure with an actual rebuilding of a green infrastructure and making sure that low-income communities and communities of color have a say in this new emerging field of public interest design. Okay, so how do we use data to get us there? The tools that you uh, have created and are working on through iSeed, which is uh, an organization that you co-founded, co yes. and Streetwise, uh, which you also co-founded. Mm -hmm. Can you speak to how you use data and those two organizations and how they're part of the solution? You know, data is really critical to solving some of our world's greatest social problems. And to me, there's been this major missing link in terms of the kind of data that scientists, that policymakers, that organizations, really great organizations like the U.S. Green Building Council are really looking into. There's sort of been this historical push at using big data, right? And there's been this historically overlooking of little data. And little data is the data that comes from everyday people. Regular folks that look like me and you walking on the ground have tons of local knowledge but that local knowledge about where to put the bioswale, where, where to put the permeable pavement, where to put the heat pump, where the trash is building up in a particular neighborhood, where's the crime in a particular neighborhood, what's the hot spot, what's the cold spot, right? We really don't have the kind of data that we need that allows for multiple data layers and the interaction of big data and little data. And the platform that we've built called Streetwise allows everyday community members to upload their data and create real-time feedback loops and it helps make governments more open, more transparent, and more efficient because you're getting real-time data about what are the problems in a community and real-time data about what the community thinks should be the solutions. So, how can we get involved? How do communities use Streetwise? Where do they go? And how do community members actually access this platform? So if folks are really interested in Streetwise, we would love to have as many people as possible be involved. This is a real opportunity to not only democratize data, but to revolutionize the way that decision making is made and to really empower low income communities and communities of color, but really all people. Right, right now, we have designers, architects, urban planners really designing for the 1%. The Streetwise platform allows folks to design for the 100%. We've made a tool that it gets everyone involved. And if you're really interested in the tool, you go to streetwise.me, or you could also go to ic.org to find out more information. Great, well, I really appreciate your time, and thank, thank you. you so much for presenting to the Affordable Housing Summit and being here with us at Green Build. Thank you, thank you for thank having you. me. Yeah.